I first met Kirk when he came to Richmond Ballet to audition. We were having a regular company class and he had these gorgeous blue eyes. I remember just watching him in class and being very smitten with his dancing. He's very bubbly and has a lot of energy. Once I actually moved here and started in the fall, we started the season, five to six of us in a group, and we go out into the schools and do a show. And Valerie and I were in the mm -hmm. same group that year. And I think that's kind of where, you know, the romance started. Valerie has an amazing personality that I love Me? and it's a fun person to be around and we hit it off very well. We dated for about three and a half years. At a certain point, I had just gotten to the next step in the relationship and I kind of noticed that he was a little hesitant. He was not in a good place with his career. He wanted to be doing other things and traveling more often. We kind of decided that it would be best to take a little break. You know, I have always loved Kirk from the moment I saw him. It was very hard for me to let him go. And at first, I think I tried to hold on, but then I realized he really needs to be happy where he is in his life. And so the best thing for me to do for him to be happy would be to let go. It took a couple of years before I kind of realized I do want to be married and I want to be married to Valerie and we had broken up and I let her go and that was rough. But at this point I had already moved away from Richmond. I'd been freelancing for a few years, working for a bunch of different companies just all over the place. I knew it would be a very hard road to go find that love again and make Valerie trust and love me one more time. <laughs> and she extended the olive branch and called and we talked for a while and that kind of open the doors again. I also knew that the only way I was going to convince her and show her that I was very serious about this was moving back here. So I got an apartment back in Richmond. Once I had felt very comfortable and confident about my decision to further pursue this with him, I knew it was really important to speak to my parents. I kind of also thought in my mind, well, if he has the bravery to approach my father, <laughs> to request my hand and in courting me, then he must be really interested and a very special man. My dad was very stern with him in the beginning. He eventually could see that Kirk was in it to win it this time around and that he really had the best of intentions. So thanks for doing that. Mm -hmm. We happen to be selling fireworks in the summertime. And then we were in the trailer one day and Kirk yeah. said, so what is it that I have to do to be your husband a year from now? And I kind of looked at him, we're in this hot, stinky trailer in the middle of July. The first thing we should do is even look to see if there's a date at the church. The very next day, we went to the church and we dropped off the check to reserve the date. It was a little bit backwards. We got the date at the church, so now I had to get a ring. I was leaving right after Labor Day. I was going to be gone for another five, six weeks. So I knew I had to do it that week. We were doing engagement photos before I actually had the pose, but we knew we needed to get those done just because of my travel schedule, her work schedule. And I thought, well, it's a perfect opportunity to actually propose. And we went down to the canal walk. They have a beautiful graffiti wall. It was fun because Maggie, she kind of choreographed everybody to set up fireworks and who was gonna light them and who was gonna set up the champagne table and while I was proposing. It was very surprising. It was came out of the blue. We were just taking photos and all of a sudden I started seeing these people that I knew really well and they were all just coming around the corner. And fun. he almost caught himself on fire. I did. The I was sitting a little close. close to the fire. So I had to scoot him back. I'm like, babe, you're going to catch up. Like, move, Kirk, move. So he got down on one knee and poor guy I picked him right back up <laughs> and made him move. <laughs> the wedding is going to be at Richmond Center Stage and it's on the actual stage. Kirk and I have danced there together many times. Sugar Plum and Cavalier and Nutcracker. We've done the Snow Queen and Arabian together. So it was just a place that we both had this beautiful common ground. Our relationship is kind of like a dynamic duo, like a great beautiful ballet. We felt like that would be a really unique way to show sort of who we are, but also for our guests to kind of get to be the stars for the day. We're on stage a lot. It sounds bad, stage. but we're on stage in the spotlight quite often. We want our guests to have that feeling. So they're going to be on center center with the spotlight and the band. and They're going to get to have their own wonderful waltz with their love. And we just want to do it kind of as a way to thank our guests for being the stars of our lives.